Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan, Ari Wall with Oppenheimer, Stacey Gilbert with Susquehanna, your team today. Ari, in one of your notes recently, you identified two sectors that you think might benefit from a weaker dollar, which is what we've got. Why do energy and materials look like good, weak dollar plays to you? I, well, it starts uh, it, with the inverse correlation between uh, dollar and commodity prices. That uh, let's let's hone in on energy specifically, and, and we think energy can do well here for uh, a breakout in commodity prices, while dollars breaking down. Com the CRB commodity index uh, completing a two-year bottoming pattern. At the same time, energy and materials as well supported by seasonal tailwinds as well. Both sectors. Uh, entering their best three-month stretch of the year from February to April. Uh, so that, those are the positives. I, I think when weighing the evidence, we are still concerned by what can still be viewed as a more questionable relative trend. Uh, we, we haven't seen the same confirmation versus the market. They haven't been leadership. We like leadership. So because of that, we're staying selective and buying leadership within the sector. Uh, one name that sticks out for us here. Uh, within the energy sector is exploration and production company EOG Resources. Uh, the stock has been a leader versus the sector, and it's coming out of this multi-year consolidation pattern. We recommend buying it in anticipation for new cycle highs uh, over the coming months. Wow, EOG. Okay, uh, Stacey Gilbert, you guys have any weaker dollar plays? You have a view on energy materials? Yeah, all of the above. So one of the things I think is interesting that Ari talked about was energy. We would agree with him that it's still a sector to be selective. I mean, it has been an amazing run here in oil. We would look at it more for picking your favorites, being selective in the names that you want. For example, on the oil services side, we'd look more for those that have U.S. land exposure as well as international exposure. Those are going to be your Halliburton and your Schlumbergers. On the EMP space, we really want those that have quality land exposure there. So you're looking more like D uh, Devon, DVN, APC. Those are the areas that we we really like. I think it's interesting here. I just want to touch on the materials because this is an interesting sector as well. Typically incredibly boring. Last year you had about 1.5 billion of inflows in ETFs. This year alone we've seen 750 million. So basically what we saw over 12 months we've already seen so far in this first month of the year here. So there's definitely a shift to more positive material views here. Two of the names that Ari had mentioned in his note we've seen an increase in upside positioning via the options and that's MLM and V. MC, Mar Martin Marietta, and Vulcan Materials. Those two names, typically not names we would talk about, typically not names that see a ton of activity, have seen notably increased upside positioning. So I do think there's definitely a shift going on this year. Energy would be much more selective. Materials, we've seen much broader base and more interest, particularly to the upside. Okay. Yeah, Stacey, Brian, that, go that, ahead. That, finish it that, up. Uh, no, just to, to follow up with Stacey, that Vulcan chart, that's a, a all-time breakout. Uh, stock not only moving moving through resistance uh, from the, the past year, but it's peaked from back in, I believe, is 2007 as well. So that's a big upside breakout there for Vulcan Materials. Uh, I guess, yeah, the company hoping its investors live long and prosper. And if you got that, <laughs> then you're a dork <laughs> like I am. Stacey, did you get that? Oh, sadly, yes. <laughs> you both, we, we're all three of us. Oh, gosh, we're all, that's why we're doing this. Exactly. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We just revealed too much. Thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan, everybody. Take care. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.